everyone, it's Mark, and before we get into today's Sovereign Citizen video, I would like to thank Proud American 1984 for sending me this video. He's a good friend of mine, and he makes a lot of great Sovereign Citizen videos, and I highly recommend subscribing to him. A link to his channel will be in the description. Also, if you have recommendations for a future video you'd like me to cover on the channel, please send those recommendations to me. My email address can be found in the About section of my channel and in the description of this video. You can also tweet me at Mark978 on Twitter. Now let's get into today's video. From what I've gathered, these sovereign citizens were kicked out of a courthouse for refusing to comply with courthouse security, and now they're outside the courthouse arguing with police. Let's roll the video. All these people need to be arrested. The trespassing on our rights needs to be people for them. Okay, so guys, I came in here to get discovery from the discovery room. Uh -huh. And these people have nothing to write me for. Okay, well, can, can I ask guys a question? Are you guys armed? What? It's armed. Even if we were armed, sir, it's it's lawful to be armed. That's, that's fine. You know, this is America. We do have a Second Amendment right, and these individuals want to search us, right? Unlawful search and seizure in order to access a courthouse that everyone pays for. They are public servants, and they are armed. So, when did public servants get more rights and abilities than the men and women they serve? Is kind of my question. For the safety of everyone, a courthouse does have the right to serve to you. They don't want armed people going into the courthouse. Okay. But can you guys answer me this question? Are you guys armed? No. no? Are you? I don't answer questions, sir. That's and and like I said, armed. even if I was armed, I it's know. completely lawful to be armed, just like but you gentlemen are armed in a public service capacity. You guys are entering a building, okay, especially a private entity like this? That's not a private entity. Okay, well, there's security points. Yep. You guys are going to So are you saying this is a private building? No. There's no law to say such. Show me the law. Okay. Are you saying this is a private building? That's policy, sir. That's not law. Are you that's saying this law. is a private building? Because we have a federal lawsuit still, that's... You still have to abide not by their policy. And, and no. who says that? Where does that... Person, not man does that not man Where does that come from, sir? Where does the delegation of authority come from, sir? Delegation of authority? Yep. That's definitely a script out of the Sovereign Citizen Handbook. The city of Denver is... The city of Denver is paid for... The city of Denver is a, is a what? You need to you need to learn the difference between lawful and legal. There's so a difference. You? I know the difference. Okay, so that's a the that's a legal law. procedure, sir. Don't go in Why? The building. Why? Don't go in the building. So we can't access our courthouse okay, following the law? That building really belongs to the people. As long as you go along with the rules. No, 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 no. If not, you can't just go in there and do whatever you want. So rules out outrank the happens. I will. I'll be here tomorrow. You want to be here? I'll be here at 10 just, just, I just have you one question. I just have one question. Wait, so rules out, outrank the, the law of the land, sir. Is that what you're saying? The policy is according to the building. So policy outranks the Security law of the land. Policy. This building is paid for by the men and women of this, this building. Did you hear I heard what you said, said but it's unlawful, okay. sir. Can we just have a, a conversation? We could if this man would check his ego. But police are keeping their calm and composure. You're the one that's yelling at them. What you, what you guys are screaming. Let's, let's just calm, calm it down. No, no. Because he's talking over me, sir. He's got a point to prove. He's not interested in the truth and the law of the land. He's interested in policy enforcement. Policy is not law, right? Legal and lawful. Yeah, I do. I don't believe so. You don't know the law. What makes you think that you would know more? Because you've done a policy enforcement job for X amount of years. Have you ever actually hit the books and looked at the difference between legal and lawful? I don't make sense when I'm talking. That's interesting because I have a 30-year sergeant over in that courthouse and another 30-year sergeant, another one who said, thank you for doing the work you're doing. You're getting the other public servants together. So it's interesting really? how, prove it. I have it on video, sir. Would sergeant you like, you, I'll give you my sergeant YouTube channel. Wagner. You can no, check it out. Of course you don't watch YouTube don't because you're probably sergeant watching sergeant television. So, oh, fake news. Give us more about your bias. Sergeant Smith. Go check him out. So what is real news, sir? Tell us about. for the camera, what is real news, sir? Ask them what they think about us. This is incredible. Kind of man, that's man a personal opinion. No, it's not. Just like, just no, like YouTube is fake news is a personal opinion. We're seeing it from observation of how our behavior is. Okay. That's a personal opinion. So would you like to see the your, Supreme Court your, decisions? Would you like to see the... idea of what's legal and lawful is a personal opinion. Would you... Yes, it is. What's it based on? Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. On your, your would you like to see the Supreme Court decisions saying statutes, policies, and codes are not laws? I have about 10 of them. No. Of course not, because you're not you interested in the truth, the you're not interested in the law of the land, you're interested in this. 
I'm willing to bet the Supreme Court never ruled that, and it's just something you made up in imagination land. Another paycheck, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, he and just he nodded. He just nodded on camera. Okay. He cares more about mammon than he does about you universal about law and the law of the land. Okay, so, so part, of, part of the problem is, is that you guys walked past security and you didn't go through the proper screening. So where's the law that says we have so to do if that? You, Every courthouse has rules and procedures to gain access into the building. Listen, just listen to me, okay? okay. Sure, we're listening, so, sir. So if, if, you don't, if you don't abide by the security procedures of the building, you, you can't enter the building. And that's why we have a federal lawsuit in the, in and, the United and, well, States District Court. That, that's great, but the whole thing is that you have to go through the proper channels. So if you have a federal, federal lawsuit, wait till the lawsuit gets... Well, started. we still have another matter now that, that was engaged as of a couple weeks ago from a separate incident. So now we're here to... Uh, attain the facts and the evidence from where we were told to go, right? So again, policy, procedure, and code statute does not override the law of the land. It is for legal persons who identify as citizens. I am not a citizen in the capacity right now. I am a man, what you are looking at. The law of the land and universal law applies to men. You swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, not to uphold policy and procedure over the Constitution. So it's very simple. They have rules in place that apply to people, consent to the governed as per the Declaration of Independence. I do not consent to be governed by people who think they have more rights and abilities than the individuals they serve. Whether you consent or not means absolutely nothing. Well, that, okay, so, so that, okay, that right there, that statement, there, there, there's, there's laws that are put in place, okay? By who? It's just by the citizens. By the citizens. Yeah, by the citizens. So it's citizens like, make law. Legislation, yes, makes law. Legislation. Okay. Legislators make law. No, leg okay, legislators make Actually, no, God makes law and legislators interpret the law. You have to follow the policies and the procedures that are put in place. Can I have your name, please, sir? You cannot open carry in the city and county of Denver, right? Because it's, yeah, because. Well, you can. If you, if, you, if you get open carry, you cannot open carry here. You will get charged. Yeah, you'll be charged, but then when we okay. take you to federal court, you'll have to explain how you've overthrown United States no, law of the land. You, you, no, you within have the, the right to carry a firearm, but it has to be concealed. In and, who, and who made that law? Legislation. And legislation does not make law for men and women. They make policy and procedure okay, so for the citizens. If you carry a firearm openly in this city, you will be charged. Oh, you're carrying a firearm openly in the city? You're carrying a firearm openly in the city. They're police officers. They have the right to carry a firearm in the city. So you have more rights and abilities than the men and women who pay for your job and who you serve. Yes. Are you going to ask me yes. that question? It's a, it's a perfectly logical question. You have weapons. You just said it's against the law. So we're given certain rights. We give certain, we're given certain authority. Oh, you're, I thought you were given duties, obligations, or responsibilities. But according to you, agent and agency is given rights. Tell me more. Why, why are we arguing about this? You don't know what you're talking about, sir. Of course, because no... Sir, if we could get together on personal time, I could show you what I'm trying to talk about. My goal is to have the law upheld rather than policy, procedures, statutes, and codes. To enforce policy, clearly, because you just told us you can have weapons and we can't when we're the men and women protected by the Second Amendment. Carry in the city and county of Denver, you will the Second Amendment doesn't say open carry, conceal carry. It says a right to bear arms. The matter. same way you're bearing arms. Matter. You don't have more rights than the... No, it's written into law in the city. You don't have more rights than the men and women who pay for you to work, who you serve. It's very simple. Very simple logic. I know the ego has gotten out of hand because everybody thinks they're here to dominate and control. You're here. I'm here because of my... I'm here because I... That's exactly why they're there. Because like predators, they're too lazy to go get real jobs. Let's just say that I was. The reason I'm here making money on YouTube is because you won't uphold the rights of the country. You won't uphold the law of the land, sir. And um, prevent my case number, my ID. I fill out the form. Then they email. Now we're trespassing on public property. That's interesting. Did the owner tell us to leave? Of course not. The owners, the men and women who pay for the property. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Trespassing means you were asked to leave by the owner of the building. Could you stop talking for a second? Sir, the city and county of Denver is a what, not a who, sir. Okay. hear what I said? It's a what, not a who. You're saying that. Well, where's the city and county of Denver? I want them to come here and ask me to leave. Are they going to ask me to leave? That's what we're here for. You can be trespassed from a public building if you're causing a disturbance. We're here representing the city and county of Denver, okay. Well, the city and county is a what, it's paid for by who. The who would be me. And me. Right. But you're in public service capacity. You've lost your rights for duties and obligations. 
Yes, you need to read the regulations. I'll prove it to you with the Supreme Court decisions that you refuse to look at. Maybe you'll find it on MSNBC or Fox News, sir, since YouTube is fake news. Whatever makes you money, right? Sure, whatever. Well, no, you're here making money upholding policy over the law. I'm here upholding the law over policy. I know your game. You don't even know me, sir, so you've made a preconceived uh, uh, determination about who and what I am because you're biased, sir. You're not able to think for yourself and to come to an accurate determination of what's taking place. You're biased. I think that you'd be, you know what you would really be good at? Well, filibustering. Filibustering. Yeah. Is that with an R? Do you know what that is? Is that with an R? Filibustering. Oh, okay. Filibustering. Why don't you tell me what it is? Why don't you tell me what it is? Look it up. Look it up. So you don't know what it is. You must have heard that on Fox News or MSNBC. Because you, you sound like you're an educated man. You might. I. Educated? Maybe. Look it up then. I know what filibuster means, Google sir. It. It's not it's not applicable to this interaction. Like this is not a political interaction, sir. This is not a debate. You're incorrect. I have the laws, the case law, the Supreme Court decisions. I even have your code on file as far as what it says and what it determines. You have not read it because you don't care. As you said, you're not interested in hearing the Supreme Court decisions. I'm not interested in hearing your filibuster. No, you're not interested in upholding the law of the land, sir. You're interested in upholding policy for a check. You're interested in upholding policy code and procedure for a check. You're like you like you projected onto me. You're just here for the money, sir. You're just here for the money, sir. Well, I need to have the facts for you to know the law. That's interesting. Well, would you like to give me your information and I will send you the facts? No answer now. You see, we we pretend to feign like we care, but really, as long as they're cutting your check and you feel like you're not accountable, you don't care. Would you like the facts? You asked for the facts. Would you like them? I want them right here, right now. Right here, right now. So if uh, I guess it was my mistake this time to not carry them with me. But maybe you're right, sir. Maybe going forward, I should be more prepared so that I can give you exactly what you need to learn to learn your job that you don't seem to know how to do. So you're right. I should be more prepared to educate and train men and women who are acting as officers who don't know their job. You're absolutely correct, sir. The police do know their jobs. They're just not going to listen to your sovereign citizen fantasy garbage. Yeah, typically what happens is when you get there, they'll be like, this is Exhibit A. So they're going to present that when they get there. So they might not even have... So everybody's guilty to proven innocent, right? No, I don't. But, but that, that doesn't... Work. I can't speak, but I can't speak for anybody else. We're not guilty to proven innocent, sir. But I usually have a firearm. So, so almost all the time. Okay, so... So, but I know so, so why, why, why is it... And you can exercise your right, but you got to go through You can exercise your rights by giving up your rights. That's what he says. So okay. So when you when you enter the people's okay. So when you go and you get on a plane, a plane is a private commercial airline, sir. The airport. It's a, it's a commercial airline, sir. The airport. It's not an applicable. It's not. An, it's still an overthrow of constitutional law, if you want to be honest, because a public service accommodation does not have a right to overthrow law for policy and procedure. This is all Supreme Court rules, sir. I don't mean to elevate my voice. I'm just very passionate. Do you understand that Supreme Court rulings, they work, and the way that you challenge them is in court? That you don't do it in a place like this. No, no, the Supreme Court is being challenged here by everyone here. We're upholding the Supreme Court decisions. Everyone here is challenging them by not following them. Supreme Court decisions are... So where, where does the Supreme Court say that you, you don't have to go through the, the building's procedures? I, like I said to this man, you seem like you actually care about the law. If you give me your information, I will send you about 10 or 20 Supreme Court decisions saying statutes, policies, and codes are not laws. They are only for agent and agency, okay. and, and that only natural law applies them. to man. That's why the Constitution so is codified. You, you, the officer isn't interested in your sovereign citizen nonsense. understand how this is going to get challenged, right? I don't know what that means, sir. So the way that this is going to get challenged is that you guys are going to get arrested and then it's going to have to go back. That's the way it always happens, sir. And, and, then it, and then is that something that you guys want to go through? We no, no, it's not something we want to go through. It's something you all want to continue to uphold when I have all the evidence, facts, and case law and the federal lawsuit to show and that, that you guys are out of bounds. Well, that, that's it's fine, that simple. You're going to get arrested and then you're going to have to... Sir, that's to officer court. discretion. If you believe that policy procedure and code overwrites the law of the land and God's law, well, then you will have to sit on the right side or wrong side of history of Just, what you believe. Sir, so, so, you would, so you should think I should wear a mask too, right? Like they arrested me last week for not wearing a mask. And next is vaccination. And next is I lose all my rights. I'm not buying it, sir. I don't care about masks or vaccination. Well, yeah, but you will soon when it becomes the law. they make you do it? Are you going to do it? No. 
So then you'll make not, you. I'm not getting vaccinated. So they'll make you put. They'll, you'll, they'll fire you. Then I'll get fired. Okay, well, okay. you're a man of principle. But I'm just. But I'm just saying. It's it's real easy. It's not easy. It is. I'm giving up my rights. No, it's not. To go through a Going through a security screening isn't giving up your rights. Man, right? How is going you, a, do you want to give up your rights? How is going through a building screen and giving up your rights? It's a search and seizure, sir. No, it's not. Yes, it's a form of search, sir. You're searching for weapons. You're searching for weapons. I'm not a threat. They don't want weapons. It's lawful to have weapons, sir. We all have a right to bear arms, sir. You're trying to override procedure. You have the right to bear arms, but if it's posted on a building, you cannot bear arms. In a private in, in a private yeah, building. Private. This is not a private building. You this can, is. You cannot this is a bear public. Arms. Building. You can bear arms in Walmart, sir, because Walmart is accessible to the public, even though it's a privately owned business. It's publicly accessible. Their policy. If it's posted on the door. You cannot bear arms. Their policy cannot override the law of the land, sir. They're subject if, to federal if, lawsuit. If, if, no, if it's posted on the building, you cannot. You can't come in my house with a gun if I tell your, you. Your house is private property. Property, sir, Walmart it's not public. No, it's not. It's privately owned. It's a public accommodation under the UCC, yeah. sir. This is another misunderstanding. He's wrong. Stores like Walmart and other private businesses can kick you out for practically any reason that the majority of people have. I've arrested people before. For I'm people sure you have because you. And it, and it went through. It didn't go to the Supreme Court. Because they didn't take it there. Because they didn't take it there, sir. The majority of people don't have an understanding of the difference between policy statutes and codes and the law of the land, which is codified in the Constitution and upheld by the federal courts. These are municipal courts. They're dictatory. They're advisory based on the consent okay, of the so, government. So this is the... This is the this is, and I appreciate you having this dialogue because yeah. it shows that you care and you are a real man, unlike some other individuals we have here. We do have the Constitution, and that gives us that gives us gives us a broad spectrum of sure. how the country's supposed to. Be and everything right? is pursuant to that, right? All the land, right? Well, wait, no, wait. States have the right to govern themselves. Yeah, just do you, do you want the federal government to control absolutely everything that you do? No, and I also don't want state yes, governments either. Law. Then the states, they, they're not going against federal law; they're being more stringent. Okay. That's going against no, it, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sir, it's very simple. Okay, so, okay, it's so, very so simple. Like, so, like, Denver, Denver, you, Denver used to say that you can't carry a firearm in your vehicle that's loaded, right? That got challenged in the courts, and it got overturned. It was turned, deemed unconstitutional. You have the right to protect yourself, right? They didn't overturn. Anywhere. They didn't overturn that you can open carry in Denver. Just because they didn't overturn it does not mean it's law, sir. This is all it people's beliefs. Mean, no, this is beliefs. None of it is legitimate, sir. No, that's actually a law. That's that's. I can charge you criminally for oh, open carry. Law, yeah. carry. It's unlawful carry, so I can actually charge you criminally. But isn't that against this, the Constitution? The, no, it's not, because you have to lawfully go get a CCW. That's your right. You can carry a gun. You have a right. We're, we're not telling so you. So you're legislating right. rights. We're not telling you. You're telling me I have to pay for my right. You have yeah, to go and get do. a CCW. Yeah, it's called commercial. No, but that's a, that's an agreement. W two W nine is a contract, sir. Men and women do not have to pay taxes. The first page of the the first page of the code says the taxation is voluntary, sir. You have to pay. You have to pay to, to possess an automatic weapon. It's the same thing. Do you have to pay to possess weapons? To possess an automatic weapon? Yes, I have to pay for tax. Because you're an agent and agency, and all statutes, policies, and codes only apply to agent and agency. If it's owned by the department, yes. If it's owned personally, no. You have to pay for it. Sir, it's private property. Anything we own that's proper to us is private property. And legislating... It, 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 that's been passed through the, the, the city uh, and county. It's through the legislator. It, is, it actually is a law. I can charge you criminally for it. Yeah, but our rights do not come from that's where you know, that's where you miss Rights come from they God, sir. Come, no, they come from legislation. No, they don't, sir. No, it says in the Constitution... Where, where, our, okay, where, where, does it, where does it say in the Bible that you have the right to possess your firearm? Where, I'm not quoting the Bible for where I get my laws. However, the Bible does say, trust in the system, however, don't sell your sword. Okay, but you're telling me right now that it says in the Bible that you can carry a firearm. You keep telling me that we're going Sir, I'm a man. I have a right to defend myself with whatever means I believe to be necessary. Until you have reason to believe that I'm in the commission of a crime, I'm guilty till proven innocent. Don't tell me the Bible says that. I don't need the Bible to say you that. Say, you my say, common you sense and my conscience. By God, and that, that you're a, God, Bible's not the word of God. That's your interpretation. No, it's not. I never said the Bible was the exact word of God. It's the word of prophets 200 years after a man who we have no historicity of. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right That's now. That's what he brought up. I don't even know why you came over here, sir. We had a good conversation I'm with this man. Right you, you I'm in that uniform as a man. Right. You have rights. Right. But when you're in the uniform, you have more rights and abilities than the man you serve. That's the... That's the, that's the he says yes. He says yes. He's so... 
says we have less. Less. Well, yeah, you have duties, obligations, and responsibilities, and you're trying to project yours onto us. We don't have rights. So I, I, I swear an oath upstate to uphold the Constitution of the United States sure. and the state of Colorado. Sure, but one comes first and the other comes second. You're putting the cart before the horse, sir. Freedom from search and seizure, Fourth Amendment. Are you upholding that here today? No. Am I no. searching you? you no, no, you want us to be searched to access the people's courthouse, which is, which is, oh, it's a right to bear arms. So it doesn't say, it, again, again, you, you refuse, you're indoctrinated, you're indoctrinated and you're bought into the cult. Sure. Like I said, like I said, you have municipal revised statute, which is written by men week to week. I have hundreds of year old Supreme Court decisions that are current up until 1960. You're not interested in the truth. Plus, I'm going to write up another thing about this woman right here, how she's trespassing upon my rights. Well, you may as well get all these uh, individuals' names because they're well, saying not, right now on record. Really no, they haven't, but they're they saying on record we need to get their dereliction of duty in line because they're saying policy overrides the law of the land. That's an issue. Did you get his name? The law of the land is freedom from search and seizure to access no. the people's property. This is men and the Constitution, sir, the thing you swore to uphold, the Fourth Amendment, sir. So then say the Constitution. Don't say the law of the land. The, the Constitution is the law of the land, no, sir. The Constitution is the Constitution. The Constitution and Declaration of Independence are the law of this land that are backed by the Supreme Court. They uphold God's law, sir. These police officers have a lot of patience. At this point, they can charge them with trespassing and disorderly conduct. Can I tell you something that I'm, what I'm observing? I didn't ask you for what you observed, sir. You already gave me an attitude and ego. This man has been respectful, honest, open. I don't need you to explain to me anything. Your explaining is enough, sir. I don't need you to explain to me. You're talking down to me. I can combine whatever I want because I'm a man. I'm fluid and dynamic. I'm not bound by the words of other men in this realm, sir. You're not my God, sir. You want to be. You desperately want to use your firearms and backup to dictate what I will do and won't do based on what other men wrote down. I don't follow the dictates of other men and women in this realm, sir. I have a conscience connected to the Most High. Because you have nothing of value to say, sir. I could look at you and read you and tell you have nothing of value to say, sir. All I'm doing is mumbling. And you're ignoring everything I'm saying because your heart is pumping, but you cannot... Okay, I think we're done here, sir. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, I appreciate you. We know our rights. That's it. Okay. Well, our rights are not going to be infringed upon. Let me, let me, we have to put, be put in a cage, and so be okay, it. So let me, let me and then we're going to hold the people that... And then you're going to give us your house and boat. Then you're going to give us your house and boat. That's the bottom line. Well, good luck with that. You think you can do whatever you want to do? You're not interested in the regulations? So threatening me. No, no, I'm threatening that any man... Any man, not you, sir. Not you, sir. You're any me you're gonna take my house. any uh, man or woman who interferes with our rights, I will take their house and boat. How are you going to take my house? I, I didn't you say you. Out. You have not interfered with my rights here you today. You come take my house. Sir, please back away from me. I'm not talking about you personally. Don't threaten me. I didn't threaten you, sir. I said in the court of law, in the court of law. I'm done with you. The police are starting to lose patience with these idiots. If the sovereign citizens were smart, they would just leave. But of course... They aren't smart. Whoever, I come back here tomorrow. <laughs> Government's going to take everybody's Somebody house and vote puts soon. Puts hands on me, puts me in a cage. I will hold that person personally liable as a man in court. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm okay? advising you right now. And there's no qualified immunity there either. I'm telling you what's going to happen. If you, if I'm advising you right now. And I'm not threatening you. That's fine. I'm, if I'm, I'm, advising you, I'm advising you right now. If you come by, back and go through proper procedures, we're going to be... If, and if you follow those directives, we're going to take you to federal court in, as an individual man, not as an agent or agency. You will be held liable for interference of rights. No, I'm not violating your rights. I'm telling you, you're, you're more than welcome to come and update the documents that you want. Under your conditions. Yeah, because you're our God and our, our rights come from you and you're going to dictate with weapons what we do. And this man's going to shake his head because policy and procedure overrides law and we're the idiots here. We're the idiots. Well, we'll see, sir. When they require you all to have vaccinations and masks and continue to slave everybody up, we'll see how you feel about what we're doing here in about five or ten years. What does that have to do with anything? It's because, it's because the corporate entities in this country are overriding law and everybody's being subject to... to stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't want to hear it. Every time he goes to interact, he turns away and walks away because he can't handle the truth.
No, it's because what you're saying is nonsense. You keep barking at him, dude. Just... I'm not barking at him. He gave me ego, sir. I would talk to you if you were respectful to me. I'm trying to talk to okay, you. Okay, sure, no problem. I apologize because... No, you have to understand, sir. This is not personal to me and you. I've dealt with this for months and months. I've been putting a cage over and over again for trying to uphold my rights. I have the case law. I have the Supreme Court. I'm tired of it. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm tired of guys with ego and attitude who think that their booklets override my God-given free choice and rights. I'm tired of it. No, so, so, so you're thinking that the laws that we have in, have in place here is trying to infringe on our rights? Absolutely they are. Why, why do you feel that way? Because we have a Fourth Amendment freedom from search and seizure, trying to search me to enter the people's courthouse is a violation of my rights, trying to overthrow the law of the land for policy and procedure. Why do you think these security measures are in place? I'm not asking why they're in place. See, this is the jump everyone does. Your feelings don't matter to me. I, I, my feelings I have I have a right to bear arms. I have a right to freedom from search and seizure. Just because everyone's scared and wants to make everyone guilty to prove an innocent does not overthrow my rights. No, there, there's a I know there's a reason. And having security. Sure, but the fine line is our rights. When you cross that fine line, you're wrong. That's why they're called rights, because when you cross them, you're wrong. So listen, when, when somebody gets arrested and then they get searched, are you violating their rights? If they're, if they're engaged in a crime which is defined by loss, injury, harm taking place or a breach of a contract, absolutely okay, so not. So if you're trespassing, aren't you breaking the law? No. The, the owner never asked me to leave here, and I'm not trespassing. I'm refusing, okay. I'm refusing to be subjected to... Why do you think we're here? You're here because they have a belief that policies, procedures, codes, rules... Is trespassing a law? Is it a law violation? If the owner asks you to leave and you refuse to leave, the owner of this building never asked me to leave. The individual who's in legal control asked me to leave, and that's... Mayor, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. And Finally, the police had enough of his sovereign citizen garbage. And what's that for, sir? Put your hands behind your back. Appreciate you cooperating. Do you have any weapons on you that I don't know about? No, sir. Okay. You understand what we're doing here today, right, sir? I do not, but I'm willing to talk to you. Okay. Do you want me to unput your phone in here? You're recording can this you right just, now? Yeah, can I'll you just keep it on in your pocket, okay? Okay. Let's pat him down and check to see if he has any weapons. Okay. So now, are you the, the man who's, who's yes. engaging yes. in the arrest now? Yes, I am. Because okay. yes. we just had about five So I haven't decided whether I'm putting you in jail yet, oh, okay. so I'm going to get your side of the story. Sure. But right now, it's not looking good for you, okay? Sir, so that's, your, that's your opinion? Yeah, yeah. Again, I mean, I'm here upholding the law. Sure. Right? I have a federal uh, case in the United States District Court right now. We'll see what happens. Well, sir, I'm not... That's where the video cut off. If I had to guess, those sovereign citizens likely went to jail for trespassing and possibly disorderly conduct or disturbing the peace. If you thought we were done, you're wrong because I have a bonus video. Let's roll the video. I'm comfortable with that, how it, how it is. How are you doing today? Can I get yeah, your name? I'm and with the Addison Police Department. Can I get can your badge your number? Can I get your badge number? It's 210. Can I see your driver's license and proof of insurance? Okay. Uh, let me ask you a question. As a man, what right do you have Please, to I stop another this? man? Sir. Let me see your driver's license and proof of insurance. As a please. man, I'm asking you as a man, what right do you have to stop another man? State of Texas is giving me the right to enforce the law. Enforce the law. You were doing 50 in a 40 mile an hour speed zone. I'm speeding. Did yes. you realize in the state of Texas that speeding in and of itself is not illegal? Okay, sir, let me see your driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Well... Sir, I'm going to tell you one more time. I okay. need your driver's license and proof of insurance, please. All right. Otherwise, I'm going to charge you with failure to identify. Okay. I'm still having to ask you a question here. Okay. That's not how this works. Let that is how it works. Either that or I'm going to have to ask you to get your supervisor because I'm still asking you some questions here. That's basically the sovereign citizen version of a Karen saying, I want to speak to your manager. Let me see your driver's so license and proof of insurance. So I would like to know... Why you stop me? Because stopping me okay, for so speeding in and of speeding in and of itself is not a crime, uh, according to according to the state of Texas. The actual um, uh, it is the um, 
Oh, you know, the the attorney general, not the attorney general, but the, the prosecutor. Yeah, is the there, DA. Your driver's license so the DA is the one that stated on page 19 that speeding in and of itself is not a crime. Sir, I need it to is not illegal. And, and I am not going to. Do you have a warrant for my arrest? No. Then obviously, if you do not have a warrant for my arrest, then you do not have the right to ask me for I'm about any to place you under arrest. I need to see your okay. license proof insurance. Then you'll falsify putting me under arrest and then that is going to be illegal on your part and then then you're going to impound my car which will be illegal. And then I am asking you to state what right do you have as a man to stop another man? Sir, I need to see your driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Okay. Do you have a warrant for my arrest? Sir, I'm asking for your driver's license. Do you have a warrant for my arrest? If you do not have a warrant for my arrest, then I, if, if I, this is a custodial stop. Am I, am I free to go? This is not custodial. You're detained. I'm being detained, right? Yes. Am I under arrest? You are not at this moment. Okay. Your driver's license and now insurance. you are un you are saying that I am being detained. You are being detained. For what reason? Because you were violating the speed limit. Speed limit is not a crime in the state it of is. Texas. No, it's, it's in not. The traffic code. No, it. According to the traffic code. Okay, let's look at the traffic code. I have Eric, read I the traffic code. And proof of insurance, the please. traffic code states that all traffic laws are for people operating a commercial vehicle. I am not operating a commercial vehicle. This is not a commercial vehicle. I am not operating a commercial vehicle at all. I do not have to have a commercial vehicle. I do not have to operate it with a license with a commercial vehicle or anything like that. So in the state of Texas, the laws only apply to the laws only apply to vehicles that Sir, have. That's fine. Y'all are going. To, uh, I need to see your driver's license. Please. Then we have another cop pulling up, and I'm Sir. sitting here asking Sir. them the same what thing. Is I your need name? you to stand down and get your. Open your window now, or I'm going to bust it out. I love how this sovereign citizen provides play by play commentary of the police officer breaking his window and arresting him. Just keep watching. You'll see what I mean. Now you're now you're going. Okay, I need you to call and I need you to get your supervisor sir, out here. I need your insurance. supervisor out here. I need your supervisor. Sir, I am asking for. I I am asking him for his supervisor. I am asking you for your supervisor. It, okay, officer. I am asking you for your supervisor to come out here. Now you have busted my vehicle up. And now you are going to detain me. You are illegally getting into my vehicle. And now you have taken my have the car. On the ground. On the ground. Stupid games, stupid prizes. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. And be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.